Hey, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there's a free 14-day trial. It comes with education. Uh, you get access to the Bookmap educational course, as well as access to the advanced order flow webinars. Uh, those start uh, uh, immediately after these webinars, uh, so at 11 uh, Eastern. And uh, those are every day. So the idea here uh, is uh, with the 14-day trial, uh, you've got an educational course. And that course um, uh, information uh, is backed up with the advanced um, live market um, order flow webinars uh, every day at 11 uh, Eastern. Okay, so um, uh, you can um, learn about uh, order flow. You can learn about Bookmap <clears throat> and how to use it, and then see it and apply it in the live markets. Okay, so that's the uh, the concept here. And uh, let's uh, uh, take a look here at the uh, at the website. Okay, the um, <clears throat> Bookmap.com uh, intro video here uh, at the top. Uh, and then you can scroll through. Uh, I'm going to change this link here uh, soon for the uh, uh, next uh, next week's uh, webinars. So uh, you can sign up again uh, to, if you want to access these webinars. Uh, and uh, just uh, some of the benefits about Bookmap. There's Bookmap for equities here okay, with an exact total view. It's a great data feed. Uh, it allows uh, uh, total depth of market <clears throat> or full depth of market, very low latency. And... Um, uh, access to all U.S. equities. Okay, if we go down a little bit further, uh, this is how you connect Bookmap. Okay, the Dev Experts and Nasdaq that I just covered uh, is down here. Uh, but the other uh, data providers here, uh, CQG, Rhythmic, Again, IQ Feed, Transact, uh, these are all data feeds that uh, you just connect directly to Bookmap. Bookmap is a platform. Okay, just like um, uh, any other platform out there like NinjaTrader or like TTX Trader here or Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. The difference is that we include these here because we also connect via the API into NinjaTrader or TTX Trader Pro or Interactive Brokers. So um, uh, there's multiple ways of, of connecting here. Uh, it, it, it is better or we prefer that uh, uh, the data is not touched by the API. So if you have CQG or Rhythmic or IQ feed, uh, you just uh, plug that in directly uh, to, to the Bookmap platform. Okay. Uh, here's where you can find the 14-day uh, free trial. Okay, that's 49 per month. It's billed quarterly. Uh, and then uh, that's for the Bookmap Basic. And then the advanced is 99 per month, but billed quarterly. Okay, you get a 14-day uh, free trial for either or. Uh, the difference between the two, well, there's a complete par comparison chart down here, uh, but uh, mostly it's these add-ons uh, here in uh, the different features, okay? So looking at uh, larger players uh, that uh, can be identified using our proprietary indicators with the iceberg uh, detector or the uh, large lot tracker. Uh, there's some imbalance indicators here as well. And the ability to trade right from the chart, and this is, this is a big one. Uh, because uh, uh, you have the liquidity heat map in front of you. So why not use it to your advantage? Uh, look for higher probability fills uh, by front running high liquidity uh, or hiding your stops behind those areas of high liquidity for protection. All right, social media, you can follow us on Twitter uh, at under bookmap underscore pro. Uh, and then uh, the YouTube channel here, I'll just briefly go through it. Um, we have uh, the uh, intro videos here in a playlist, features and components playlist, and then these order flow video snippets playlist. Okay, these these uh, order flow video snippets, this would be um, akin to the live uh, order flow analysis webinars, except that uh, these concepts here are just covered really briefly or concisely, I should say, uh, in um, uh, these videos. Right, so we go into this information in depth during the live order flow analysis uh, in those webinars. All right. 
Okay, well, let's uh, take a look here. What's going? What's moving around uh, in the markets today? Uh, crude is breaking out uh, to the upside. We can take a look at crude. We've been looking at crude uh, for a while now. Uh, our last few days, when we've been uh, kind of hacking back and forth in the uh, uh, equity uh, indexes, uh, or we can uh, also take a look at kind of kind of curious if we might break out of this area here. Uh, in, uh, in the indexes, but uh, you can see sellers are starting to come up into this area up here. Let's take a look at Bookmap. Okay, we'll start off with looking at the uh, the NQ here uh, in the NASDAQ. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And um, uh, this is something that I, I want to, uh, I've shown before, uh, but this is really interesting uh, and insightful information here uh, and we're seeing it very clearly here in book map uh, anyone have an idea what I might be pointing out uh, here but there's a few different things actually really interesting stuff here uh, that's going on and uh, it has to do it has to do with uh, depth of market any ideas what I might be pointing at or might be interested in here <clears throat> no Okay, well, I'll cover it at more toward the end of, uh, of the webinar here. Uh, but it's the, um, uh, for those of you who are new here, what, what Bookmap does is it takes the dome, the, the data in the dome, the depth of market. Okay, that, that's uh, if I zoom in here to the current market. Okay, and uh, in these, col these data columns here, okay, this is, this is the dome here in Bookmap, right? This is the depth of market, right? This is the offer side. This is the bid side. Here's your best bid and offer right here. Uh, and we record this data and transpose it uh, graphically onto the chart. So areas of high liquidity, like up here, 49 contracts, you know, and they just pulled. So you, you, we recorded that though, that action. Okay, so now we know that they're, they were interested up here for a bit and then they pulled. Um, what's so fascinating about this is um, uh, Rhythmic and CQG offer this uh, Rhythmic actually offers it for CME products, and that's full depth of market. So what do I mean by that? Okay, uh, It just means that um, these areas down here uh, in, the, uh, in the order book are live right now. So if, if, if traders come in here, and actually it looks like I just saw it get a little brighter down here, or if they come in in any of these areas here, uh, anywhere on the chart right now. Right here, I can see them down here, uh, for example. And this is definitely outside of uh, uh, regular, uh, you know, 10 deep on the on the bid and offer. Okay, uh, it's all live. Right. So look at this information here. These are larger players. Okay, uh, they're they're already before the market even opens at the 9:30 cash open. They're already lined up here to sell. Right up here in this area, and up here in this area here at uh, at 63.70, and uh, here at 63.55. Okay. Now, for those of you who might want to argue that the dome data is, uh, uh, you know, it's, it, you really can't read it, you you really can't understand it. They, it might be fake liquidity. It's all it's all fake. It's all smoke and mirrors. Well, this this should uh, help prove disprove. Uh, uh, a lot of that noise because here they are and here they are up here okay? these these are longer term traders and they want to trade here they have a lot of liquidity they're waiting to trade at these levels look where we go to look where we stopped here why did we stop here it's because they had a lot of selling interest here okay and they stayed in the market okay and we came back up again into this area uh, we finally trade through it Right? And we, we'll, we'll go in and take a look at it, but uh, this is a very quick move and a, and a really nice breakout okay, of this swing here. Came back up, tested it, and then we see the breakout. Okay. In fact, maybe I'll cover this in the uh, advanced order flow uh, uh, webinar. In fact, I'll give you guys access to it today uh, for Friday so uh, you can get a feel for what we do in the advanced uh, order flow analysis that comes with the, uh, uh, the trial. Right. So what's interesting, though, uh, is you yeah, these traders up at this level here and we trade through very strong breakout. Where do we go to? 
same area up here. This is where the sellers were, and they're still here, and they're still here now. Okay, we can see them. Okay, if we want to break out further, well, this is the target then. Uh, price needs to get up to this this level at 6370. Okay, for, having full depth of market gives tremendous insight to this. Right, uh, this is really a, a a very very nice advantage. Okay, so longer term. And, and this is one of the distinctions here of Bookmap. Uh, your, your dome, if we zoom in here now, okay, hold on just a minute. As I zoom in, okay, in our dome right here, and uh, let's suppose we had, uh, you know, this this is what a, a dome usually looks like here. You only get 10 deep on each each side, right? This would be your dome. Okay, this isn't really telling you too much. Uh, and it's moving so quickly, right? Uh, it's telling you more when it's recorded, and you can view it historically, right? But uh, uh, still, any areas outside would be, they're, they're not live, okay? Uh, but uh, with the data feeds uh, with CQG and Rhythmic, well, only Rhythmic here for, for CME, all of these areas are live. So, and, and recording those areas live, what that means is now this dome becomes extremely useful. Okay, uh, I can I can use it historically. I can zoom out, and I, I can use it for current and historic. Well, here here they are. Here are the sellers up here. Buyers are starting to show some interest down here. Okay, and that's we don't need to look at the numbers. We can just look at it graphically. Okay, and what's even uh, even better though uh, is um, Look at these areas on the longer term chart. Okay? I can use my dome information now at these areas. Okay? Uh, and then um, it is giving us a lot of insight. Okay, point, point made, uh, won't beat on a dead horse here. Uh, it just uh, really is um, offering quite a bit of transparency uh, that can be used. You know, you, you might be looking at a FIB number and maybe you hit it by chance. But here's, this is the real story. This is why we stopped and we rotated. This is why we stopped and rotated here and over here previously. Okay? That is, has nothing else, there's really nothing else uh, to say about it. Like, uh, uh, that's that's the reason. Okay? Anyway, um, so let's, uh, for those of you who are new here, and there are some new traders, um, you know, I will uh, we'll stop uh, going through the analysis here. Um, just want to make that point clear that you can use Bookmap, uh, the order book, historically here that offers a lot of insight. Uh, and uh, that makes your dome useful. Whereas it really, uh, for the current market, it can be somewhat useful, but you know, seeing it um, uh, on much higher time frames is a lot more useful. So the... Um, uh, let's just uh, go through the and simplify what we're looking at here in Bookmap because it may look like there's a lot of data and a lot of information here. Uh, that actually is true. It's very simple data, though. Okay, it's uh, it's not complex whatsoever. Uh, this is uh, not rocket science at all. In fact, this is a very simplistic view of the market. There's just three pieces of data that we're showing here on this chart. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to demo this by showing you a candlestick chart, okay? Because a candlestick chart is um, all this is showing here is uh, open high low close of a specific time period. Okay, it's a five minute chart here, so um, uh, that that's what we're looking at: five minutes of data, open high low and close. But that's it. Right? There's only four four pieces of information here. Uh, that's the problem with the candlestick chart. So you're, you're starting to read these wicks and bodies uh, like an art form, uh, and it's completely subjective. You don't know where the traders are lined up here. Uh, you have no clue where the volume traded, what type of volume, uh, where it traded, uh, and how much. All, all of those are uh, completely opaque here, uh, all that information. Uh, and then looking at... Um, uh, the, what's outside of the candlestick chart? Well, there there is there's nothing here. It's all dark, so we don't know where they're lined up in the in the auction. 
All right, so uh, we also have a sub-panel here. I'm going to close it. Uh, it's an, an indicator sub-panel, but uh, uh, Bookmap is only showing you three things here. Um, it is showing you historical best bid and offer, the volume that traded on the historical best bid and offer, and the historical view of the limit order book. All right. So we'll add those in pieces of information on here one at a time. All right. So uh, the first piece is just going to be historical best bid and offer. And this seems really uh, simple. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's very insightful, though. Right? Uh, by um, adding on historical best bid and offer, what this allows us to do is see uh, a non-aggregate view. Okay? There's no bars here with historical best bid and offer. It's just historical best bid and offer. It's the market action, and it allows us to see microstructure. Okay? So look at this, this move to the upside here. Well, what really occurred in this move to the upside is uh, we had a structural area down here. We broke out of it right here, okay? Uh, and then uh, we uh, we moved to the upside. We uh, kind of consolidated again, and then we broke out of that area too, and the biggest break happened actually up here. Okay? This is what really occurred, uh, and we can see those structures, right? So we can see... This is a microstructural area, so is this, okay? And uh, we can understand now that uh, uh, there was buying pressure. Uh, there was gonna be a lack of selling down here. We're gonna see more buyers come into this area here and we're gonna get a breakout, okay? This is how the market works. Uh, and uh, we can't see any of that within this candlestick chart, all right? So uh, that's a problem. So just looking at historical best bid and offer, already opens up these candlesticks. Now, when we turn on the volume, we have much more information. Okay? We know not only historical best bid and offer and microstructure, but the transactions that took place, okay? where they took place, how much took place, uh, and um, of what type. All right, so let's zoom into this area. Okay? And uh, so this is, this is what occurred. Right? So here's our breakout of this first level down here. And uh, this is very indicative of, uh, of a breakout. Right? Look at the, the, the green uh, aggressive buying at higher highs. Okay? Uh, we see a little bit of selling here, but mostly you can see on these little uh, areas here, and even down here, um, there's not much selling. Okay? In fact, there's m much more volume trading up at higher highs. Okay, which is very indicative of a trend. All right, so we know uh, exactly where the volume trades in terms of the microstructure. Uh, and then the nice little retest here to the top of this microstructure. And then we saw the continuation. Uh, and then um, uh, we come back up here and we see another breakout here. Okay, And uh, the aggressive buying actually happened a bit further. Usually we see it right around this area here but it actually took place a little bit higher, okay? And, um, uh, and then you can see, we came back and retested that area where we uh, see most of the volume trade here, okay? And here's our retest and we went back up. Now this is where we're starting to see maybe a turnover uh, in that trend, okay? Because uh, we have kind of a distribution pattern here. We, we break the microstructure down below uh, and um, we're still bullish. Okay, because the overall, here's the swing down here. We didn't break this swing. Okay, and we just kind of go back and forth uh, until we find more buyers here. Right. So anyway, uh, the, um, let me zoom in and, and show you what this uh, historical best bid and offer in volume really looks like. It's really simple. Um, and uh, this is it. Okay. Look at, here's the bid here, as a, we see a spread widened out a little bit here, okay, with the bid and the offer. So bid is the green, uh, offer is the, uh, the red, okay? And then these little uh, dots here, these are transactions. Okay? And the way we record and display volume is by using the aggressor classification. Okay, so if I hover over this dot, it gives me the date, the time, 
what was on the bid at this price level of 63.48, and the volume uh, at this price level. So this was a, a trade, and it was we're, we're recording uh, and displaying an aggressive market sell order here as a red dot. So someone hit the market sell button. They crossed the spread, they paid up for it, they took liquidity off of the best bid, uh, and a transaction occurred. Okay? Here's a market buy over here, a green dot, that happens on the best offer. Okay? It's just how the market works. Uh, and um, uh, the interesting thing here is that uh, we, can, we can zoom into these levels here, uh, and we're showing you every single transaction that took place. Okay? There's a very simplified view here. Uh, and uh, we're down at microsecond level, the timeline. So we're looking at millions of seconds here. Okay? Every single event is recorded in bookmap. Okay? But we don't trade off of these levels, so let me show you what happens when we zoom out. Okay? We just visually aggregate all of these trades together into a bigger dot. So we have an overall understanding of what took place in some of these levels. So look at this little area here, uh, and we can see that uh, the majority of this was actually selling here. Right? So this, if I hover over, is 208 contracts. Uh, it is at a price level that's giving me the VWAP of that price level, because there's many trades that took place here. It's actually telling me the spread as well. Uh, and um, uh, we know that there was a majority of this was selling. Uh, and uh, we see a little bit of buying here. Uh, in fact, uh, order flow wise, this is telling us something uh, very interesting um, because uh, we see, look at how we broke out of this little microstructure right here, with the aggressive buying, and we see selling up here and it's still going higher. Sellers are trying to, to uh, uh, move price down toward this, this direction. These guys are gonna cover and they're gonna flip out and uh, we're going to see a nice move to the upside, probably. No, we didn't. <laughs> okay, we got one more rotation, and then we're going to see it. Um, but uh, usually, uh, the um, uh, this is this is uh, pretty indicative here of uh, uh, we, we see it many times over. Um, if there's more selling up at this level and it's starting to move against them, we're going to see a nice nice spring to the upside. Okay? We didn't we didn't get it this time, uh, but uh, a lot of times we do. Most times we do. Say so these guys are they got it wrong, right? And uh, uh, and uh, price will move uh, uh, very quickly against them, and they'll cover, which will fuel the fire uh, even further. Uh, anyway, uh, that's the uh, volume, uh, and then uh, the final piece to go over here is the heat map. Okay, so let's take the candles off. And let's just look at microstructure and volume. Okay, and now we're going to look at the limit order book or the, the order book here. Here's our price ladder, and here's our order book. Okay? These are traders lined up here, providing liquidity at these price levels. Uh, they want to be sellers at these price levels. They want to be buyers at these price levels down below current price. Okay, this window here is the same thing. It's uh, it's uh, best bid and offer and last traded volume. Okay. And uh, uh, now what we do, though, is we take that data and we paint it in a graphical representation. Areas of high liquidity get uh, bright white areas. Okay. Lesser liquidity, 55, 56 here, are a little bit, uh, a little bit darker. There, there's less liquidity. Right. So we're, this is like a, a graphical representation of the limit order book here. It's the same information. When you see these numbers change over here, it will be reflected in this window. Okay, but uh, it's to the left of this vertical white line. And we take this data and we project it onto the chart historically. Right. So now we can understand where they're bidding and offering in the auction, and not just uh, uh, current market, historical. And we can understand their behavior at these levels. We can start to note the majority of these traders, are they following you know, price down? Are they lowering the offer? That's, that's pretty uh, bearish uh, you know, if, uh, if they want to be sellers at a lower level. Uh, what if they're pulling uh, 
price or their, their offers here and adding to a higher level, well, then that would be rather bullish. Okay, so um, we can start to read and understand the behavior of the auction uh, by reading it on many of these levels here. And that's what we go through in the advanced order flow webinar. Okay, so uh, let's, um, let me um, give you the uh, uh, link here to the advanced uh, order flow webinar. I'm going to put it into the chat box here or go to webinar. All right, and you guys can come and join and see what we do in the advanced order flow webinars. All right, there you go. So, uh, yeah, that'll start in just a couple minutes. So uh, let's end this, and uh, we will see you over in the advanced uh, advanced webinar. Okay. All right, thanks, guys.